Mabuhay everyone, Marches here. Welcome to the channel and for today's video, I'll be comparing the KD15 to the Cosmic Unity 2. So let's find out which one is better and which one is for you. Let's go! So guys, these two sneakers uh, just recently kind of is new in my opinion. This is newer compared to the KD15. So the KD15, as you know, is one of my favorite sneakers out this year. From the KD14s, I like the KD15 too because of the full-length zoom setup on the KD15s and the traction is really, really nice. So how does the Cosmic Unity compares to the KD15? Given that the Cosmic Unity 2, the specs is it's a full-length zoom too. And when you look at them both, look at the shape, they kind of look similar. They really look like their siblings, two brothers. So let's find out the difference between both. So let's start off first with the uppers of these two sneakers. So on the Cosmic Unity 2, it has materials that are recycled. So this is the Move to Zero movement from Nike that they kind of use recycled materials for the upper, the foam, and other various parts of the Cosmic Unity 2. While the KT15 features a screen mesh upper that is soft, it's not too fused to, and it's really really soft. When I first wore them, um, they didn't need any break in time. They're soft, very comfortable around the foot. And as for the Cosmic Unity, it still is a soft too, but not as soft as the ones on the KT15. This has more structure to it, so you can see the patterns are closely knitted and has more structure. So in terms of support, I would say the Cosmic Unity 2 has a bit more support in terms of the forefoot part and also durability. You can see this is a fused part of the Cosmic Unity. So when you're doing lateral moves, the lateral support and durability on the Cosmic Unity 2 kind of gives you a better security in terms of those movements while on the KD15 takes a little bit of time but when you're doing that little movement you don't slip off the foot pad at all because of the caging that's around the midfoot and it's very supportive they have fusing on the forefoot but in terms of durability like I said I would give it to the Cosmic King. For the midfoot part of these two sneakers the, the KD15 has this cage this yellow cage with the swoosh Medial part 2 has that and when you are really tightening it up it really gives you a very nice hugging feel around the midfoot plus the lacing system of the KD15 if you take notice it is from this lace hole going to a strap then lace hole again then going to a strap so it's kind of alternating so giving you a better fit to the sneaker when you're really tightening up the laces and you would feel it really hugging your foot really well so even though the materials of the upper is kind of soft, but still you feel very confident making lateral movements on this one. And also on the Cosmic Unity 2, it has a speed lacing system on the Cosmic Unity 2. So when you pull it up, it's very easy to tighten up. Everything goes up and tightens and kind of hugs your foot. But, so, but in terms of fit, I prefer the KD15 a little bit better because it really has a very nice lacing system that really hugs your foot very well and giving you that very responsive feel out of the sneaker and the Cosmic Unity has a little bit more room in terms of the midfoot part so wide footers I think you would prefer this better compared to the KD15s because there's a bit more room around the midfoot part of the Cosmic Unities so it really depends on your preference now moving on to the heel part of the sneaker where you can see both cuts are very wide around the ankle so a lot of people have been complaining on the KD15 that kind of have this heel containment issue but for me I've been playing with this and still right now I didn't have any of that but maybe to be sure fit it in store if you're buying so that you can really feel the fit of the KD15. Maybe I was just really lucky enough that it fits me well. It really fits my foot shape so I'm happy with that but I know there's a couple of uh, that have been messaging me that they're still experiencing heel slippage on the KD15. While on the Cosmic Unity 2, 
it's open very open it's like an elf like shape here at the back of the heel and there's padding around the ankle and actually this one this is a US 10.5 yeah 10.5 for this I went half a size down one of the KDs it's US 11 so on the 11s of the Cosmic Unities I really have heel slippage on this but when I went half a size down it fit me better so for regular footers such as me go half a size down for the Cosmic Unities while if you are KD 15s true to size if you are a regular footer so if you're a wide footer go half a size up on the KDs and true to size on the Cosmic Unities in terms of insole that's what I'm touching right now in terms of insole pretty much similar the styrofoam like insole that kind of shapes your foot when you constantly use the sneaker so eventually it will shape your foot really well and both will give you a better fit to the sneaker and right below this is a full and zoom trouble same setup same size and they are amazing very cushiony very bouncy in the forefoot and heel and of course impact protection too is really nice but the main difference in terms of cushion setup is the foam of the KD is a little bit thicker compared to the Cosmic Unity which is really lower to the ground so it's just a matter of preference too like I said if you want a closer to the ground feel but at the same time still have that bounciness that you can feel from the forefoot and heel Cosmic Unities will be better for you but if you want more impact protection especially on the heel you would like the KDs a little bit more especially after wearing them several times the foam will become a lot softer and it will give you more impact protection but in terms of responsiveness of course if you're lower to the ground you will feel more responsive but the KDs is not too far off in that aspect it's still a very responsive sneaker you're very quick in your move so like I said it's just a matter of the court feel aspect and if you want a bit more impact protection below your foot now moving on to the outsole of these two sneakers so this has brain waves kind of are similar both are very wavy pattern in terms of rubber material the cosmic unity is a bit harder in terms of the kds i think it's the shape though the kds pattern is sharper it's thinner compared to the cosmic unities which is a lot thicker so if you are hooping outdoors and you want a more durable rubber outsole i think the cosmic unities will be better but if you're just constantly playing indoors you would like the kds a bit more in that aspect and as you can see in the midfoot part of the sneaker both have a midfoot shank plastic and it gives you stability torsional support but the cosmic unity when you're bending it even though there's plastic here it kind of bends around this part and it bends a lot so that's one thing to consider if you like more bending around the forefoot part but on the kds it has a bit more torsional support around the middle and even on the forefoot part it's harder to bend this one so it gives you a bit more spring back to this while on cosmic it's more like i said it's a lower to the ground attack so if you are more shifty uh, and you want to be more responsive you can do this with the cosmic unities more so like i said depends on your style of play as for the grip of this two traction i would give it more to the kd15 it's a little bit better it grips a bit harder compared to the cosmic although the cosmic still is very good but the KD is kind of exceptional especially after breaking them in it becomes better and better the more that you use them so traction wise i would give it to the kd as for the price of this two like i've said that's why i'm comparing them because this is 8000 pesos this is also 8000 pesos here in the philippines same price so the main difference between the two sneakers are of course the uppers if you want a more supportive upper and durable upper and if you are playing more outdoors of course the traction of the cosmics will give you that and a bit more durable upper while the kds if you are more of a player that likes impact protection and an amazing grip on the traction 
and a better I think heel to toe transition because the Cosmic is a little bit flat here in the forefoot so if you have stability issues I think the Cosmic will be a bit better because the Kiddies is a bit more curved in terms of the design of the outsole compared to the Cosmics which is way flatter compared to the KDs even though both are same width in terms of the forefoot while on the heel yeah on the heel it's almost the same too but the shape is just the main difference in the outsole so guys let me know what you think about these two sneakers which one you would prefer you would like the KD15s or the Cosmic Unities and before we go let's weigh them first I almost forgot to weigh them but on hand I think that the Cosmic is a bit lighter so the weight of the KDs US 11 436 for the Cosmic Unities 399 for US 10.5 so, so around 30 to 40 grams between 30 to 40 grams difference between the weight of these two sneakers so let me know again guys which one you would choose and why hit me a comment down below this has been Mark Chess once again thank you for dropping by this channel I'll catch you in the next one peace Oh,